Hello and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob and I call myself Sansomi. And today lads, boys and girls or whatever people that are what might be watching, we're going to start a Manchester United save in the Football Manager 22. So during the entire beta it did not say Man UFC. I did have that real name fix done during the beta, but I guess they've changed it. So, yeah, unless it's just here. We will just see when we get through to the next page. So we're going to start here. We're going to do like this. We're going to do this is all the information that you most likely all know. This is the way they want me to play. This is not the way I'm going to play, but it looks interesting. Here's a loads of things they want me to do. So let's see what we can do about that. I don't know how to take away these things. I don't want any. I really don't want any, any, um, advice thing imaging i don't want to have a press conference i don't want an an intra squad thing imaging either and i don't want that every week let's take that every fourth night <clears throat> we're going to be playing a, a couple of friendlies that's for sure so um yeah i don't really know how to Put this up and I'm going to be placing that over here as well. So let's see. Let's save this. And here we get the information. We take over Manchester United. Yes, we certainly do. Last, oh, Pogba. Cavani, Juan Mata, Lingard. Loads of players that are on their last contract, last year of contract. Now, I don't know if I want to keep Pogba, but I want, I want money for him. So, I think I'm going to sign a new contract with him if I can. Hmm. Should I let? Director, do I have a director of football in Manchester United? Let's see here. Yeah, we have a director of football. So maybe I should just try and let him negotiate the contract so that that gets renewed. And then let's see what we can do about that. The other ones, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna maybe Jesse Lingard. I know he's not a brilliant, but I, <clears throat> at the same time, I think I want. I think I want to sell him instead instead of, of just letting him go. So, and let's see, is there anybody else here that we want? No, doesn't look like it actually. Juan Mata is is. Uh, too old now and Cavani as well so I think they're going to do their last season in United they are earning a lot of money as well 150, 250 so yeah tactics I'm going to create my own tactics I'm just going to do like that for now and I'm going to be doing more on this tactic later on um, let's get to the next the visions I'm going to accept the visions that they have. They want me to challenge for the domestic cup competition. They want me to qualify for Champions League, Champions Cup, it says here. They want me to reach the final in the FA Cup. That's going to be a hard one. Champions Cup reach semi-final. That's going to be hard as well. Carabao Cup, not important. And yeah, reputable. Yeah, let's get on with this. And I think I want a heavy preseason. 
So let's hope we can put that together. Cancel training camp. I'm not, I don't think I want to go on a training camp, to be honest. I just want to arrange. Let's, let's see. Man United injury updates. It's a lot of injuries. Donny van der Beek. Rashford. Rashford out for three to four months. That's not good. Martial. Phil Jones. Dean Henderson and Alex Tavis. Martial is back in about three weeks. So he might be... He might be... I think he's going to be back before the end of the transfer window. Because if there's anybody I would like to get rid of... <clears throat> it's Martial. And I'm going plainly, not for... I'm not going for the for the football manager numbers. I'm going for the way I feel about him when I watch Manchester United play <clears throat> in real life, so to speak. So yeah, let's see what happens here. Contract negotiated. Lingard has considerable interest in 2018. Yeah, but I thought. Oh, he didn't want to. He wants to be a squad player and they want to put him as a French and he's not going to be. Uh, let's have him as a squad player. I'm, I'm okay with that. 100,000 per week. Let's see if we can lower that. Let's give him a real long contract. The negative thing is that if nobody wants to buy him, that's going to hurt us with five years, but otherwise it's good to have him um, secured and he's not ask, asking for, for very much. So let's give him that contract. He could be a good uh, reserve player. Then we have Greenville friendly cancelled. Yeah, that's probably the ones. Yeah, that was, I'm going to do like this as well. Sorry for, for being a bit jumpy here, but backroom staff arrange friendlies for the first team. They will not. I will arrange the friendlies. So I only have a friendly against Fenerbach. So let's see what kind of friendlies we can come up with. Um, I think I want Wednesdays and Saturdays during the, during this period here, similar. Nah, smaller, very similar reputation, foreign teams. Barcelona. Let's face Barcelona. Fee and income. And if we do away game, fee and income. Home, we lose money quite a bit. Away, we go even. Yeah, let's, let's go away then. Traveling to Barcelona for a game. Then we have Saturday. <clears throat> we go into always similar or let's have some nearby team. Let's go for the main road and we're going to face them at home and we're going to make a little money out of that. Like that. And then we have a midweek game here Wednesday. You know what? I'm going to take choose other and I'm going to go like this because I'm going to go up here and I'm going to see if I can't get to Sweden. Premier Division. Let's see if, if there's an opportunity for me to face Malmö FF. And I'm going to do an away game. And I can't. Why can't I? Choose a date. July 22nd. That's that date there. That's a Thursday. Or we have the 28th perhaps. Yeah, let's go the 28th. I guess they are unable to say yes otherwise. So let's do like that. We can see 
Let's hope that Mum FF will play us. Born and raised in Malmo. I sure would like to face that team. Uh, even though I share for Malmo, I am 100% Manchester United. So uh, even if Malmo meets Manchester United in real life, I cheer for Manchester United. Let's go Aberdeen. <coughs> And let's see if we can't have away games on on the Wednesdays and home games on Saturdays. So just gonna arrange a couple of friendlies here. Um, similar foreign. Maybe we should bring in some team to face here. Senate. Let's have Senate. And we have them at home, like that. Then we arrange <clears throat> to face someone else here. Similar, let's go to Chelsea and let's go away. That's good. We could use a tough game like Chelsea to play before we start the season. Let's see nearby teams. Oh, I would have loved to play. Let's do Berry. Berry, Berry. Like that. And then we have one more friendly to arrange. This one. I'm not going to be playing these all these friendlies on camera. I think we're going to do Barcelona and maybe Main Road. Then I'm gonna do this off camera and then I'm gonna be back uh, probably when we face, yeah, Crystal Palace, the premiere there. That's a friendly as well, so we're gonna have, yeah. Let's see. We don't want to me we don't want to face them again. Let's go with Hull. I like Hull, and we're gonna play at home because it's Saturday. Let's do that. Arrange for away game. Let's go. You know what? Let's go with something cool. Because I want to go with a team that I manage the other days. Let's go with this, and we're going to be playing away. That will give them forty-four thousand pounds. That's a good deal for for Welling, and it's petty cash for us. While it can save the entire season for for them, like that. I was actually considering playing another friendly there, but I think we're going to be doing. That we rest this not not entirely. We rest from games before we start the season. So what I'm going to do now is go over the team. We're going to talk about the team and uh, see what we can find and stuff like that. And after that, I'm going to be playing the Barcelona game. I'm going to be playing the main road game on camera. So you get to see those two games. Then I'm going to jump, I'm going to do all these weeks off camera. I'm going to be coming back uh, somewhere around the 8th of August and 13th of August. So that we're going to start the next episode probably, most likely. Because this is going to take some time, this first episode. So we're going to, in the in the epi in the next episode, which probably will be that we will, I will do like I did with Welling. I will call this episode zero. So it's sort of a pre-season episode, and then we will start with episode one when we face off against Crystal Palace there. And I don't know how many games I will be playing per episode. It might be that I pull it down to two games per episode to have a little more 
a little shorter episodes perhaps and stuff like that but this is going, probably going to be quite a long one this because i'm going to set up a lot of things for the season we're going to go through the team quite a bit so um yeah let's see inbox we have done that let's see the team Goalkeepers is, of course, David Echaia and Dean Henderson. They are Those two are the first choices. Then we have Tom Heaton. I'm going to, I think, going to be number three. And we have Ali Grant as well. Defenders. <clears throat> yeah, Van Bizaga is going, probably going to be or are going to be our right defender. And then we're going to have Ralph Varene and uh, Harry Maguire as the central mid uh, defenders. Sorry. And then we're going to have Luke Shaw as our left defender. And we're going to be playing a 4 4 2. So um, the problem will probably be. I don't think there is a real problem because we'll have Jado Sancho on the right. That's going to be Mason Greenwood. What are we going to do about him? He can play on the left. And he can play on the right. I was thinking maybe we should. Because I think I want to pull him down to. Play as a, as a left midfielder. Actually a winger here. So, and I'm going to use him there as well. I was considering buying Gareth Bale, but to be honest, I don't think he's very good, first of all, anymore. He was a brilliant footballer, we all know that, but I don't think he's very good anymore. Certainly not in this game either, so that's why I decided I will not be going for... for um, for bail i'd rather save the 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 money that i do have and and try to build uh, upon the players that i do have and hopefully we will manage at least this season uh, and hopefully get a little more money for the next season to uh, but I'm, I'm still going to be looking for players and uh, uh, yeah so we're going to see what we can do but I can't afford to, to sort of splash out him because I don't think they've changed. Now, I have £30 million. And as we all know, for a team like Manchester United, buying a player under £30 million, they're not going to do any impact on this team. That's just the truth. Um, then we have to find some real bargain and some real... Uh, no, a player that nobody knows about. So, and that's not going to happen. We all know that. So, I really would love to take Brandon William back from his loan. Can I do that? No, I cannot. Mm. That's not good. I want to bring him back. I don't want him lent out especially since Alex Tevis ill Tellis is injured anyway we were as we've said here that we're gonna have Sancho as our right defender Jadon Sancho I'm gonna play him as a right defender that's for sure and uh, so I'm gonna be putting I'm, I'm gonna do that later on um, and then in the middle, we will have Bruno Fernandes together with Pogba. And at the left, we will try to train Mason Greenwood to be able to do that. And up front, Cavani together with Cristiano Ronaldo. So it's gonna, I think we have a, a quite an interesting season uh, ahead of us. Um, let's see if we can do something good something spectacular perhaps let's see we put up the team here now uh, from Binsaka we're gonna do, go 
Rene, Maguire, Luke Shaw. I think it's the the perfect time as well to start out, start with a um, uh, a Manchester United save as well because we just um, we lost quite recently against against Liverpool with five nil at home, which is never allowed to be happening, and then we. Now, this weekend we lost 2-0 at home against Manchester City and we didn't really get to borrow the ball. We were to I mean, we were way off when we against Liverpool, but against City yeah, we were we could just as well been been on the been on the as a spectator instead of being on the pitch for because they were, they were way off. There was no no way that um, that that was good enough for um, a United team to to be playing like that. That was horrible to see. The, the game against Liverpool was not nice. I can say that I, I was I felt embarrassing and, uh, and stuff like that. But a game against City, oh my god! I didn't know what to what to do. Should I just turn off the telly or what? Because they were really crap. And it is something that I've said when it comes to to um, Ole Gunnar. Solskjaer uh, managing uh, Manchester United that I don't see a game plan. I don't really see a game plan, and and, and uh, it when I when I watched Ferguson, I'm not saying that I was one of those that keep Ferguson, keep Ferguson. Uh, I because I I was more one of those that didn't have an opinion because I didn't I didn't feel that I knew. Um, enough football to be able to have that opinion back then, but I could see that he. I mean, the team was was uh, playing good. It was the wrestles that were were that didn't happen, so to speak. Uh, but but the gameplay, they they had a plan and they they looked good and 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 yeah. Seems like we like they were going somewhere, but with Solskjaer, I don't see anything like that, to be honest. And now I'm not one of those that's going to be shouting and screaming for for Solskjaer to go anyway. But um, I, as I said, I can't see his game plan. I can't see the team improving. Uh, with him, uh, and I can't see we c we don't we don't have control of games like like um, like we had with with uh, Ferguson even in the eighties, so to speak. And uh, you can't can't see them playing good. I, I said the same thing actually about uh, Brendan Rodgers in Liverpool. I think they gave him. They should have given him a longer period because I think he was building something great there. You could see that they were a good side. You could see that they were going to be a, a, a good team because they were often dominating the games, but they just couldn't... Um, it just couldn't. They weren't able to to go that last piece, that last puzzle. And I I think if I'm to be honest, I I think that I don't know where I was going with this train of thought now. When I'm I'm doing two things at the same time here. But I think it's yeah, it's it's the the, the thing that I wanted to sort of of um, put the finger on is that that. 
they didn't they didn't get the winning mentality that is very important to get uh, i think ferguson was lucky bit luck a bit of a lot of of the luck that brought him success was eric cantona because he brought the winning mentality to manchester united and i'm not sure what would have happened if that would have happened without Ferguson coming to United? Quite honestly, I, I the class of '92 they they were spectacular players, and they were really they really made this uh, our club great. But um, I think they have so much to thank Cantona uh, for oh Malmo rejected because I think without Cantona they wouldn't have had that uh, winning mentality and I think that the, the shame of everything is um, if I'm to be honest uh, which I always like to be I think the shame when it comes to, to the class of 92 is that they never managed to do uh, what um, what Cantona did. They never, they were never able to, to, um, to, to um, put that to the next generation that winning mentality that that um kent and i brought to the class of 92. so i i think that's one of the really big reasons why it is so was so much um the, the winning mentality disappeared when the class of 92 ended there their uh, period so to when they all went off the the winning mentality of manchester united disappeared because they were not uh, as strong uh, as um, as cantona to, to bestow that to the next generation so uh, yeah but they were able to keep it in the club while they played. That's good, to be honest, because uh, Ferguson wouldn't have had 25 great years or whatever. He did have a lot of great years, and he wouldn't have had that without uh, Cantona's winning mentality and, and to bring... There was so much... I remember a lot of talks from... Beckham and stuff like that when he just a look from Cantona and you knew that you were either did something good or something bad and you had to improve no matter what so yeah he was incredibly important when it comes to um, yeah the success of Manchester United and the success of Alice Ferguson. That's just the truth. So I think we're going to be jumping in here. We're going to have a staff meeting. I'm sorry if I rumble away here, but I think we're going to be doing that. So if you want, set uh, a player trade training for Van Bissaka. Yeah, start training. Start training. What's this? Yeah, let's do that then. Uh, so just assigned in the handle technique. Yeah, let's uh, have him remove him. Okay, let's just do what they say. Uh, I've noted that Alvaro Fernandez may be considered asking for improved credit in the near future. Would recommend that you do not move to open talks with him for the time being. Okay. Doesn't look like he's a very good prospect, but yeah. Let's move on. I think we should look for towards a youth system. Yep, I want that. 
That would be cool if we could bring up some youth players. I am of the increased opinion that Marcus Rashford has the potential to become a player of key. Yeah, or I believe that too. Might be the one taking over when Cristiano Ronaldo leave. If we can't get the money to buy somebody like Erland Haaland or something like that. SF2C. I'm increased opinion that it has the potential to become a quality player for the club. Perhaps reaching the ability of third best central Victor Lindelof. Not better than that. Uh, if he's not getting better than Victor Lindelof, I don't think he's going to be staying in the club. But yeah. I really think Sancho could be as good as maybe even better than Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Let's hope for that. Uh, he's under 20. Yeah. I want him to be. I mean, he. I remember him when he was a goalkeeper at, at Hull City. That's cool. Uh, I think six of him is it would be a choice to a coaching team. He's also an under. Let's not do anything hasty there then. I think for the you know, Ben would be a good choice to add to coaching team as a. No, let's not do. It's from Brighton as well. No. Oh, that's. Okay, Eric Steele. I can bring him in to become. Yeah, let's do that. So he can take the under, yeah, under 20 goalkeeper. Yeah, he's in an English national side then. All right. <clears throat> all right, all right. So I bring him in to replace Alan Fettis as under 23 goalkeeping coach. And um, make Alan Fettis a goalkeeping coach for the first team. That's okay. Tom Hughes, under 23 physio. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, maybe we can sign them all. I don't know. Uh, loan manager. I don't want a loan manager now. End meeting there. And end meeting. <clears throat> And like that. Now we've set up the tactics. I think I'm going to watch this. They're all on holiday. So they can't face Barcelona, you say? You're telling me they can't face Barcelona or what? Oh, crapping. Oh, smack. All right, all right. I don't think we're going to be playing against Barcelona in that case. But yeah. Let's see. We're not going to be messing with the attacking width. We're going to be passing into space. And I want overlaps from the defenders. And we want to work the ball into the box. And I want mixed crosses. Not going to change any of these for now. Because I don't think I have too many of those players anymore in the club no more Ryan gigs and stuff like that so, but we're going to try to keep the passing a bit short and uh, trying to put a little more tempo that's what we're going to be playing in possession in transition we're going to be doing some counter press some counting attack when we do have one there and we're not going to be messing with this at the moment and we're going to try to hoist the ball past the defense and then out of possession we're going to be pushing that up as well trigger press more often we're going to have use of side track traps and we're going to use tight marking and we're going to start with getting stuck in and we're going to see how many yellow cards we go we get before we we turn that off but yeah that's how we're going to play and I'm also going to be having these complete wing back support. And we are actually going to go for ball playing defenders. I don't think in real life that uh, Maguire is good enough to play like that. But uh, yeah, in this game, no, I don't think it's a problem. We're going to have him box to box. And we're going to have him as a deep deep-lying playmaker and defend 
Both are both going to be wingers. And we're going to have Cristiano Ronaldo, complete forward support. And Cavani, I think he's going to be playing as an advanced. Yeah, let's do like that. That's the way I want to play. Now, I don't know, but I've been, I'm, I'm thinking about corners, free kicks and, and stuff like that. I think I'm going to be messing around with those, but I think I'm going to do that off camera, to be honest. Um, because otherwise we're going to be sitting here for, for uh, a couple of hours and I don't think you or me want want that to, to happen, so to speak. So I'm going to try to, after I've played these two games against Barcelona and against Main Road, I'm going to do off-camera work with the other um, with the other games there, the under, other friendly games, and then we're going to be starting um, with the first league game. And doing that off-camera bit, I'm going to try to set up some some uh, corners and free kicks and stuff like that. So um, hoping that will be something and if that gets successful with my stuff i i think i'm gonna be doing something like that now i need to introduce myself to the squad this is always the tough bit because being realistic i know that we won't challenge for the league we won't challenge for champions league but we want to go far enough so that we will challenge we will we will uh, qualify for next year's Champions League and we want to go far enough so that the board uh, is pleased with us. So, yeah, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be making any promises because it all depends on the money and, and everything. I don't think we have the, the we, we're not good enough to win the title, that's for sure. Um... Oh, I don't think, we, I know that we, we are good enough to qualify for the Champions League, but I want to do that because I, I want to have hope that we can, and they're hurt and offended and everything. What a, <sighs> let's do like that. And some of the, oh, let's do that. We can't win that one, uh, but I want to reach the final. If we can, I want us to win the FA Cup. Brilliant. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be pleased with that. I'm not, as I said, that is always hard. I don't want to lie. And um, at the same time, I don't I don't believe that we have the least of opportunities to to do that to win and uh, yeah the, the possibility is now that we're going to be playing here I'm not going to be sitting here taking out the youth players and under 23 so if all these are on holidays I'm going to be asking the assistant manager to pick the players for us in the game that's for sure Training, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do the introduction to training. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing that. Let's see what the board improved training they. I mean, they want me to improve everything, especially this youth. And I haven't been there long enough to, to make those demands and they reject everything. Oh my God, they want me to, to improve the youth thing imaging and then they do like that, that's horrible. Now that I'm thinking of it, I'm going to be doing some 
things here. I'm going to go into Borussia Dortmund and I'm going to have a look at their players. Because personally, this one I'm very interested in. So I'm going to add him to the shortlist. And uh, yeah, I don't I I know I can't afford it. I don't have that kind of money as we all know. But I think this is the one I want to replace Pogba. If I can get rid of Pogba, if I can sell Pogba, I think this is the player I want for him to replace him. And of course, this is the one I want to bring into the club as well. But that's we're already at 200 million pounds. Where am I going to get 200 million pounds? It's not going to happen. But I want them on my short list so that I know. Wasn't there somebody else here? Let's go view all. Yeah, I think this one is another player that I had some positive during playing the beta. So I'm going to shortlist him as well. Now that's a player that I can't afford either. So unfortunately. Then I did see... I did see a YouTube clip where they said that this one became a monster of a striker. So maybe I can get my hands on him. He could actually be something, but maybe he's just signed for them. No, he's doing his second season there. Let's ask the... Let's ask the agent. Wouldn't be interested in joining Manchester United at this time as he has only just signed a new contract. Yeah, I'm. Yep. So that's not going to be something that we get our hands on. Let's move on. We now have uh, at least one player on. On where we want. Um, yeah. Let's see. I am going to see if I can change that into the real name. If the real name, if I can fix that off camera. Let's see, Taylor Mendy. I think I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. I'm not going to... Uh, oh, it's loan offers. Loan, loan, loan. Let's le let him go on loan. That's okay. I think it's... Accept and give ultimatum to selected clubs. Accept all loan offers. Like that. There we go. <sighs> Let's see. There's one more transfer thing imaging. Contract under... No, that's all in him. So I guess, hey, 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 I forgot to read that, didn't I? The crap, where were we? I was going to, I was going to get, there we go, follow up here. We're going to be offering him, him a job as goalkeeping coach. Yes. And then we're going to be, this one is going to be under 23 goalkeeping coach then. He didn't want to be that, so walk away then. Uh, we want to offer him under 23, no, not physio, under 23 physio. He doesn't want to be that. Walk away. The club recommended him as a physio. Let's let's just sign him then. But he wants loads of money. Let's do like that and pump and suggest. And he accepted it this time. Weird. But what is this? 
Oh, yes, it is. The... Oh, never mind. Let's see if he will become a goalkeeping coach. Now we are at the Barcelona game. So let's see. Um, what was I going to do before this? Yeah, we view the tactics. You can see here all of them are away. So I'm going to do like this. I'm going to clear the entire team and I'm going to go without the entire team. Now this is far from the team that I wanted to play, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. <clears throat> With all of those players away on holiday still, it's not going to be it's not going to be the best of game for us today. But let's play it. Let's have a look and see how things will look look for us. And let's go pump fist places to grab because that's a load of youth players. Let's do like this. We want to sound on here now. Let's go up with that too. And we don't want any replays. So let's go like that. Let's see what happens here now. Let's see if we have any chance in the world. Against the Barcelona. I don't know if they are here with the, their best teams. But I guess Piquet is playing. So... Oh, Mason Greenwood starting with an injury. That's not good. Not good at all. I'm going to be placing that lad in there. That's not good. <clears throat> Let's hope that he's not getting a, a serious injury. Because we are in trouble if we get him injured as well. Let's see, Piquet, Calabod gets it up to, and let's see, Barcelona is putting a lot of, they are dominating the game, which of course I, since I did see that I, that I couldn't use my best players at all, I was pretty sure that Barcelona is going to play with us quite easy in this game we're not going to stand a lot of chance here so we're just gonna have to run this game out hopefully we make an uh, okay challenge anyway so but uh, I mean it's going to be extremely hard for us it's a good opportunity actually well played well played lads so i'm gonna have when i'm done with these two games here these two friendlies i'm actually going to have oh i'm going to have um, what was i going to say i'm going to have two things um, that i need to be doing off camera I'm gonna fix all these stats and everything and I'm gonna be see see if I can find a way to get the real names into the save game because uh, I think it's a bit frustrating not to have the real names um, of tournaments and everything so but uh, at the moment I don't want to try and fix that before I should have maybe I should have fixed it before because maybe I need to start the save all over I mean if this if this episode never goes goes live then only I will know that I failed and had to start all over again after I got the real name fix, fixed so to speak and um, 
if I can get the real name fixed. Um, I think that it could be that it starts anew because beta has more. I mean, every time you do upgrade, um, that, that creates a new, new catalog or whatever, a new, and 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 that, and then you have to do the real name stuff again. So that could be the the thing that I need to do. I need, just need to change, take away, and to put in a couple of things in the. Oh. Whoa, Charlie McNeil! Brilliant! The young lad, the under 18 player. I'm sorry, but I think that's that could be that. I didn't notice any up, updates though. I didn't have to download an up, upgrade for Football Manager when it went live, so. But I guess maybe that's what's happened. It's been upgraded or updated, and. Um, I need to move those files into the right catalog to get them right and then I'm gonna have to start the game over again to try and see if I need to restart this save game if I have to start from the scratch again or if I can yeah continue this game it's going to be interesting to see Let's hope that we don't have to start. I don't have to start it all over again. But uh, you never know. Now, it would, I'm actually pleased with 1 1 against Barcelona away with these young lads. I mean, they've done a terrific job. I'm really pleased with that. Really, really pleased, to be honest. And uh, yeah. I'm going to do like that. I'm proud of the lads. And he will be out for four weeks. Oh. I wanted him to be trained in to be a left winger. Now I don't know what to do with him. Or, or who to play as left winger, to be honest. Well, I can, have, I can use Lingard, that's for sure. So he's going to be having to have to play there. Oh well, let's just get on with it. Let's get to the second. Let's see if we get any players back for that game. And as I said, when I play that game, we're going to end this episode. Hopefully, this hasn't been been too long and painful for you. And then we're going to be starting the next episode. I'm going to try and, and actually record two episodes uh, today uh, and um, put them both up tomorrow uh, today is is uh, Tuesday the day that the game has been released as a full release so to speak and so yeah I'm going to try and put up both episodes maybe one o'clock 1300 hours I put up the the this one so to speak and then the second episode or the first episode will come up somewhere around 8 at at evening at European standard times or if it's Swedish I don't know I think it's central European time so so let's get on with this I'm mumbling too much we need to get on well, I'm looking forward to see what I can if I can do anything about this actually um, if I can can uh, improve the the um, if I can do anything better than Olegona Solskja and uh, yeah Work permit for Pogba? Are you kidding me? Every time they need to sign a new contract now? All right. Tom Heaton will be out as well. Okay, so now I have no goalkeeper. Or do I have Lee Grant? 
and then the rest is under 23 and under 18 players. This is going to be a tough thingamajing, actually. Um, so let's just, we're already here, main road, last game before this episode will be over. And it's going to be interesting to see if I can fix the real name stuff without having to, um, yeah. I do have a certain amount of faith in myself there. It's going to be interesting to see if I can get the real names without having to to record this episode again. So Pogba granted. So he signs a four year contract. Perfect. I don't really know how to get rid of him though. I would love to sell him and um, 85 to 102. I mean, who is going to buy him? There is nobody that had that amount of money. Maybe Newcastle, but I don't think he wants to go to Newcastle because I think he wants to play Champions League football and stuff like that. So let's see if there's... There's nobody back from holiday. So let's go clear team. And then we go without restriction, entire team. And let's see what we get. We get an under 18 goalkeeper. No, it's under 23. Okay. From Binsaka, Bailey, Tengmi, Fernandez, Juan Martin, that's a central midfield. You can see that the stars here is so low. But at the same time, we're going to be facing main road, and that's, I don't really know where they are, but they are pretty far down, I guess, in the series system. So this is something that they should handle. We should be winning this game. We're going to pump our fists, give me some selection headaches, and let's get this game on the way and over with there's Menji Bailey Mata and uh, nothing more there I'm gonna let me see here here's Hugil here's Shortire that is oh oh come on lads Well, um, sorry, I am pleased that the football manager is out, finally, it's the 9th of November, so finally we can play the game, but because time, we're just going to have to see what we can, if we, I'm not even sure I get to play an entire season with Manchester United. Because it's going to be tough. I don't think that Manchester United has the quality of players that they, they've they been having for so many years. I mean, we do have Pogba, Fernandez, Cristiano Ronaldo. But that's just a couple of, 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 uh, of good players. I mean, Mata is past his peak. Lingard hasn't been good for several years. Rashford injured a lot. I mean, I don't think he's been playing that good in real life, to be honest. Last couple of seasons here now. And, um, yeah. I think it's going to be a tough thing to, to uh, get anywhere with this Manchester United team. I do have hope that Sancho can do a lot for us. Cristiano Ronaldo can do a lot for us. And Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes should be able to do some things. And maybe even Pogba. But uh, to be honest, I would, any day of the week, I would exchange uh, Pogba for Jude Bellingham. Um, mostly because I think, I don't know how much this happens in the game, but I, to be honest, I think... I'm, I'm, I have no proof of this. It's just a feeling that I have. And the feeling is that 
Pogba is probably a problem in the dressing room. I think he gets the players against the managers. manager. I think Pogba was a big part of of getting Jose Mourinho fired and I don't know if it's true I have no proof and I as I said I, I don't know but it's just a feeling that I get that he's a problem in the dressing room and I don't care how good he is as, as, a, as a player if he's a problem in the dressing room he needs to go that's just the way it is and I don't know if he's going to be a problem in this dressing room because I don't know how much that kind of thing is is in the game, so to speak. So yeah, we are pressuring the ring. Then yeah, that Shola short tire scores one nil. Man United. That's a good one. Main road playing in blue clothes, so they look like Manchester City. So, yeah, from Linsaka Ahmad. Now, I don't know, I'm gonna have to go through all these young players as well. I want to try and figure out who I have faith will become anything good and who will not become something good and try to get rid of the players that I don't believe in as quick as possible because uh, yeah you want to have room for new uh, youth players that you either find or that you can get up from the, the youth youth system so that's my thought on that anyway let's see what we can get done here now 3-0 after 20 minutes that's a good result so far but I mean it is a a, a team that I don't even believe exists in the in the league system that you can play here so they're further down than the Rama leagues and here oh and it's a goal go or what is it a penalty or what it's a penalty all right all right all right and who's going to take in the run Juan Mata the experienced player is going to be putting that into the goal cool cool four nil short tire Hansen Hugill and Mata the scorers Having a good first half, maybe this can build up a bit of a morale and so on and so forth. We, I do believe that this is supposed to be a good season. <sighs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have to struggle to get this season to, to be okay. But I think and hope that I can do I'm not going to go on any any losses like 5-0 against Liverpool at home. I certainly hope that I can stay away from wrestles like that. And without injuries, I do believe that we will be able to, to stay clear of those really, really games where we are totally uh, played out and totally destroyed. But uh, yeah, it's not going to be e it's not going to be easy. Uh, it's, it's, I don't hold us as a contender for the title, even if that's what I told the lads. Uh, but I do feel that we need to be ending up in Champions League position, or this will not be a long, a long um, YouTube series. That's for sure. So I need to find some way to, to make progress quick at the same time as I need. I need to be able to keep my job, that is, until there is money to buy some some of the players that I want that I think is going to be 
making me eventually fight for the title here. But it's so far off. And uh, yeah. I mean, I would change Pogba for Matty's Delight in Juventus as well, perhaps. Not perhaps, I would do that actually. But uh, yeah. Oh, oh. So, but, but it's hard. It's hard. I, I know that Maguire is not good enough to be a title uh, winning defender. Uh, Varane might be. I think he's got the potential to be a, 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 a title winning defender, but he needs uh, somebody by his side that is actually good enough to play there. So, yeah, that's going to be hard to find. But yeah, we are playing quite well in this game, even if we are just facing a, a, such a low team that it's, we're not doing anything more than is uh, expected from us. That's why I don't have any real cheering going on. I'm not going to be as invested in these friends. Oh, that's a nice shot by Juan Mata. Really beautiful. I'm not going to be as invested in these games because there's not much sense of being it because they don't really mean anything, especially when I don't have the players uh, at home. Oh, I mean, there's pretty much no player in the first team here that's going to be playing in the season coming up. That's Van Binsaka. That's the only player I think is going to be having an ordinary position in this team of the players that are playing today. So it is hard to get involved in the same way. Now 8-0 is of course something to celebrate and feel is really good, but yeah. I'm, I'm having a hard time finding the arousal in these games. So. But I think there's going to be a little more passion, a little more voice from me when we start the league up. So don't miss the next episode. Oh, they scored against us. That's not good. Should have kept a clean cheat in this game. That's not good. I'm disappointed in you, lads. And Bailey might, might be a player that's going to get a couple of games as well, depending on injuries and everything. He's not going to be a first choice. But I mean, uh, I only have three players ahead of, of Bailey. Uh, I think I'm going to try to sell a couple of players. Now, I don't know. It's always been... Very difficult to sell players you know, when you have players in Manchester United. I've always had loads of problems selling players with Manchester United. And you don't get the money that you want either. Um, and that's a sad part about it. But yeah, I, I'm, I, did press, I didn't mean to press that, but yes... We are done with this, ep this episode. I'm just going to come back here, yes, to this page here. So I hope you'll join me for this season with Manchester United. And uh, the next episode that comes out this evening, I hope, will be starting off with the league. And um, stay safe, have fun, and do like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And do leave a comment. And um, I'll see you another day. Bye-bye-bye.